Hello everybody, how's it going? It's Mr. Scary Muffin, and we're back with another Thoughts Talk in TF2. This is actually my second time attempting to record this little uh, thought of the week, I suppose. And the reason I'm doing the re-recording was I was listening through the first one, and I felt it was a little bit offensive, just a little bit, uh, I don't know. Uh, the way I presented myself um, wasn't as well, and I'm going to try it again here, and if it doesn't do that well, well, maybe I'll go with the first video, but we'll see. Um, so with that in mind, I want to talk this week about selflessness and selfishness and my thoughts about it. Um, and basically, there's a couple of things that led me to uh, think about that this week. Uh, one is this, like, internet story that's been... Uh, being passed around on Facebook especially and it's the uh, why marriage is not for you or, or something like that I think that was the title of the uh, vlog a uh, blog story there and the gist of the story was there's this guy who is about to get married and he's like all worked up about it he doesn't know if this was what he actually wanted he doesn't know if he was ready for it and all that kind of stuff and he sits down and talks with his dad and his dad's like son Marriage is not for you. And he's like, what? And basically the dad's like, no, marriage is for the woman that you're marrying. Marriage is for the child that you're going to have. Marriage is for the family. Marriage is not about you. It is about all the other people that unify you through marriage, etc., etc. And then the guy was like, oh, he burst into tears. And he was like, so, so... Uh, how do you say he was so repentant about his attitude he's like oh no like i can't believe i was so selfish just thinking about myself only in this marriage i didn't realize i was getting married and there's other people involved in the kind of thing and how um he's getting married not for himself but for other people and that was the story that uh people were supposed to take away from that and yeah so that was interesting and what i read after that was a rebuttal to the story uh, and it was just some other lady who was writing a blog in response to it and uh, the title of it was something like why uh, the story was wrong I can't remember what it was. it was like why the marriage is not for you argument is wrong or something like that I can't remember and the lady basically in uh, her thing was noting how uh, a lot of people who were posting the story where were uh, women in long-term relationships uh, that haven't been going anywhere recently and they were basically putting it up go like hey you know nudge nudge wink wink you know marriage isn't about you uh, you should be getting married you should marry me for me kind of thing uh, as a do it a thing do it as a thing for me and the lady blog uh, rebuttal to this was basically that you know marriage marriage is not going to be 100 percent about yourself right uh, you are part of the reason you're getting married is for the other person obviously um, but that doesn't mean you should be 100 percent selfless as well in your marriage when when you get married you should get married and to somebody that makes you happy right uh, and the and her argument is like you know if the person doesn't make you happy if you do you, if you yourself do not feel comfortable with the marriage then the marriage is not going to go over well and it's going to end up being a bad experience for everybody involved including the person that you wanted to try to make happy you can't really make somebody else happy unless you are feeling content and happy yourself um my my problem with the rebuttal was that the lady went on to talk about like yeah go in take your vacations and all that kind of stuff. I'm like whoa 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 I think I think you you over adjusted a little bit too much you you overcompensated a little bit too much for uh, the selflessness of the previous story. Um, I always I, I'm always going to come back to this with this mantra of everything in moderation. And this includes selfishness as well as selflessness, right? Um, I mean, I don't have to tell you guys that it, the, our, our culture, our, this generation is way too selfish. Um, I, I can't remember what it was. Is like some guy had a story about the generation me, 
and how everybody is all about me, 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 what they can get. Um, the Dire Tide thing that I mentioned last week was a perfect example of this. All these people, all these gamers who are playing this game for free, uh, all they wanted to do was like, oh, we want Dire Tide. And then when people were like, well, we don't actually care if Dire Tide is out. We just want them to, to let us know. We want communication. I'm like, you know, who are you? to demand this kind of stuff from a game that you've just been playing for free recently, you know? I mean, I understand that you guys are the customer, etc, etc, but I don't really feel that, like, it's all this self-entitlement coming out, you know? And and good job on Valve for uh, putting up such a, oh, such a pansy-ass reply on their Dota thing. I was reading it and they are explaining, like, our bad guys, we made the mistake, we forgot to let you guys know, and all that kind of stuff, like, oh my god, you guys are, you guys are so, being so timid, but really, like, what can you expect a company to say, right? Like, why are you guys all acting up like this? You shouldn't be acting up like this, and they didn't say anything about the fact that all the, uh, the Dire Type fanboys were, like, crushing the meta critic score of Dota 2 and all that kind of stuff. They didn't say anything about that. They were, I wouldn't say super classy, um, but they were they were letting these people push them around, uh, but I think they were being very firm with what they're like, well, what's going to come out is going to come out, and I think you guys are really going to like it, and that was the story, guys. And basically, they said, I th it feels like it's not really being timid either, it's like they're holding on to this rage, and they're being very, very, like, appearance timid, but you kind of like, I don't really want to nudge them, because they might just explode and go postal on you or something like that. Uh, but yeah, this current generation, it, we can see people being selfish left, right, and center. We can see people being only concerned about the big number one, which is themselves. You know, people who, when they're driving, uh, they're only concerned about themselves getting to a place really, really fast. Even though they're not really under any kind of time constraint, they're going to be like, no, you cannot cut in front of me, or I must cut in front of all these people. I must do my left turn right now. It's very important that I do this, even though it is a red light has been red for a while. I'll still do my turn. It's all about the me. Um, and you, you'll hear like lots of stories. I know that the... Um, there's a tourist from mainland China that gets a lot of flack because they are extremely egocentric and extremely self-centered. Um, there is a story that came out in my local area where there was this like granny who just like lifted up her grandson uh, to a garbage can and had him pee into the garbage can in the middle of the food court of a mall. And there was a story just posted, it, it was a local paper thing, and uh, people were just like, what the hell? And they're like, well, mainland Chilander, Ch mainland Chilanders, uh, Chiland mainlanders are like that. They are that conceited, that uh, self-centered, that selfish. And it's very easy for me to say, do it in moderation. And boy, do I mean do it in moderation. Like, think about yourself, uh... I guess it's easier for me to say looking at the selflessness side, okay? So what is an extreme example of selflessness? I would say somebody like Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa is, uh, she gives everything and then when she couldn't give any more, she gives more, right? Uh, she just keeps giving and giving and giving. It's, it's like Nobel Peace Prize kind of selflessness that kind of stuff that's what I'm talking about I'm talking about like for example if you were a true to the book Christian you would be inviting all the homeless people in town to your house giving them the clothes literally off your back as you walk by you see a homeless person you take your jacket you give it to that guy you like pull out your wallet just give him everything it's just like go crazy dude right that kind of stuff that that's what I'm talking about um, that would be an extreme case of selflessness and you really can't like it's it's very uh, jaded of me to say so, but you really can't expect people Whatever. to do that, right? You really you really can't expect people. And when you people when you see people doing it, you're like, oh my goodness, this person, his heart is so pure. It makes like a big newsline story about it because you just don't see people doing that. People at some level are gonna think about themselves, you know, like. Sure, you 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 might take off your jacket and give it to the homeless person, but you're not gonna take off your shoes and your socks too. And if you do, maybe there, there's a line that you're drawing at some point, right? It's the idea. 
and the line that you draw where you're not being super selfless that is the line that you start being selfish there is it's actually really hard to for there to be a gray area in terms of selflessness versus selfishness this is one of those this is one of the weird places where there really isn't a gray area there's no neutral area you're either thinking about yourself or you're not right you're either you're either holding something back because you want to use it for the future or you are giving it away for other people to uh, to use it, right? Whether they actually need it or not, you're, you give it away because they actually use it, right? Um, that reminds me of that Friends episode. I don't even know if you guys know Friends because Friends was like a 90s sitcom that never really like hit the top of the chart, but I watched the heck out of it. Um, but there was a challenge that uh, Joe, well, I can't remember who challenged, but they challenged Phoebe to do a truly selfless act, something that she could not say she got something out of it and Phoebe tried and tried and tried right but every time she tried to do something she realized that she actually got something back out of it and then uh, she decided this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna donate like a ship ton of money to this charity that uh, Joey was doing like this uh, telethon for and she was gonna donate a ship ton of money to it even though she she personally did not like that charity she's like well I'm gonna give him money it's gonna go to these people who I actually don't really like I don't think they actually deserve this but she went ahead and donated the money and then uh, Joey was the one who got the call and then they pushed over that like their the goal of that evening and then they uh, showcased Joey I right? brought him up to the camera and he's like oh no I got some time in the spotlight he's so happy and then Phoebe's like oh he's so happy it makes me feel good he's like damn it and the fact that she did it made herself feel good she then realized that uh, she got something out of it it's really really hard to to do a truly selfless act and that's an interesting idea in that there is no gray area that you can rest yourself neutrally you are going to be selfless in some regards and you are going to be selfish in some regards but where do you draw the line right um but and I, like i said it's really easy for me to say pull yourself back away from being selfish right realize where in your life you're being super selfish is it the way you treat your parents is it the way you treat your studies is it the way you treat your friends is it the way you approach strangers uh, when you see them is it is it the way you just react to homeless people begging for money where are you selfish it's an interesting idea and then we look at where are you selfless Right? Where do you give things back to the community, uh, even if it's just positive energy? Right? If you're in an area and you are, you just give that smile and you you try to make somebody's day better. Where are you being selfless? And I guess we can always um, bring this back to video games, I suppose, as well. And sometimes when we we play we play for ourselves obviously it is our own entertainment we're playing for our own personal enjoyment um, but there are other people around as well and they are also there trying to have a good time and sometimes when you're being competitive uh, sometimes when you're doing something that is fun for you such as trolling it may not necessarily be fun for other people and where do you draw that line and I really can't tell you guys it's not it's not something that I can say um, but all I can say is do everything in moderation right um, and I feel very personally that a lot of people these days are extremely selfish um, and more so selfish than selfless like for example when I was talking about the self felt selfish part right you guys can oh yeah I've, I've been selfish here I've been selfish there and then when I switched over to the selfless part how many can you list uh, selfless acts that you've done in the past I'll, I'll give you guys the past six months can you name uh, more than 10 selfless things that you've done that are clearly selfless I don't think we'd have that many I think people are so absorbed with themselves with um, 
getting through their own lives that they don't take the time to think about their fellow human beings they don't take the time to think about their partners they don't take time to think about other people who they interact with on a daily basis and they don't think about how they can improve these people's lives but this used to be the culture just just 50 years ago this used to be the culture where people would just do a very small thing to make somebody else life better whether it just be like oh here let me let me mow your lawn for your neighbor i just happen to be mowing mine anyways you know that kind of stuff this used to be the culture that was north american culture this was the, the western culture and it's weird now that everybody being isolated on their computers and stuff they no longer think about other people as much as they used to and instead they're thinking about themselves a lot and so I guess this is just kind of like a wake-up call for everybody kind of thing and uh, if you guys were curious the the particularly potential offensive thing that I had to talk about was uh, religion and the reason I, I was thinking about religion was because my sister recently became like a super crazy Baptist uh, Christian and she's really really uh, on my case to pick up the religion uh, a lot and she's on a lot of people's case to pick up the religion in fact but when I see the way that she talks about God and how God is choosing her destiny uh, finding the right people for her helping her get through her life and away from depression all that kind of stuff I can't help but think that she's in the religion for extremely selfish reasons and it's mean for me to say something like that it's mean for me to point at anybody who is practicing any kind of religion and say that they're doing it for selfish reasons you know people who are johos and out trying to spread the word of god but mainly because that will get them into heaven and put them in a better position that kind of stuff i think um it's going to be really hard again for people to be selfless and in terms of Christianity, I'm just going to use this as an example, right? You're, are you going to be like Mother Teresa? Are you going to, you know, follow the Bible to the word and just go out and give everything you can to everybody? Um, I mean, there's way more people who need them um, than you can possibly, than a single person can possibly give out. But that is the thing that, you know, according to the Bible people are on earth to do is to spread as much happiness as a single person can um, but a lot of people these days they're, they're holding it for themselves and hoarding it away and yeah that was that was the particular part that I felt was really touchy I talked on it a little bit more and um, I was a little mad ranting that part a little bit as well but I'll, I'll leave it just on this simple touch uh, and the simple thought instead of going into it any more deeper I think pretty much beaten the uh, discussion into dirt and so I want to hear what you guys think as well if you guys can give me some examples of things that uh, you've been doing that are selfless or just some examples that you've seen I wouldn't mind seeing that as well anyways that's it for this week guys uh, thank you for listening to me there was a little bit longer of a discussion I can't believe I talked this long twice over uh, we'll come back next week and I will talk about uh, learning how to play Scout <laughs> on a granary. And, and then the week after I will think of a new topic of something. I'm actually quite happy with uh, this week's topic and I would love to hear your thoughts as well on this topic. So uh, post them down there and uh, hopefully you guys have joined Google Plus at this point. Uh, in order to do so because I do love the comments and I do appreciate it very much if you guys don't want to join the Google Plus then uh, try tweeting me or something like that alright that's it I will sign off here thank you so much for listening I will see you guys next week ciao ciao GG and good night good game yeah, I'm up too. <laughs> They're heavy. <laughs>